Hello, so in this video we're going to be talking all about windows, uh, window resizing and tabs. So just as a general overview, what is a window? Well, you're going to come across windows in all different parts of the uh, online world, either that's through the browser or on your computer using a, um, an application like Microsoft Word or Google Sheets. Uh, you're going to be seeing windows all over the place. Um, and although all different types of windows are different across computers and different operating systems, um, there are certain things that uh, remain the same across all windows. So we're going to be talking about that today. So this is the sort of uh, schematic diagram we've got of a sort of very basic uh, window that you might have on your computer. Um, at the top, it's got uh, three things. It's got a minimize button to uh, collapse the uh, window right down, it's got a maximize button to increase the size of it, and it's got a close button to close down the window so it disappears and goes away. Um, so you'll find this sort of feature on pretty much all of the windows that you, you have, um, and it's normally up in the top right hand corner, but it's sometimes in the top left hand corner. But we're going to be going through some actual practical examples of these uh, so you can get a better idea. Uh, also as part of a window it will have on the side a scroll bar so you can scroll up and down so you, you can uh, view text that is very very long and scroll right down to the bottom. Also often there's a scroll bar at the bottom as you can see uh, where you can scroll to the left and to the right. Uh, the main part is called the frame and that has all the content that you're looking at. So for a browser the main part of the frame will be the websites and the web pages that you're looking at on uh, something like Microsoft Word, it might be the letters uh, or the text that you can read. An important feature of a window is that um, windows are adjustable in width and height, so you can have just one window on your screen, but you could have two or three or even four. Um, you can adjust them to the size that you want, and we'll be looking at that later. Another important part of a window is that they often will have a toolbar at the top or along the side with extra options and this is very specific, um, context specific to the thing that you're doing, but look out for those extra buttons or words along the side or at the top, um, as they can be really helpful. Uh, the next thing to consider is what is a tab. So a tab is just, if you think about it as a normal folder, in a normal fo folder you have tabs to divide different parts, different sections of your folder. So rather than having six different folders with six different things in them, you can put them all in one folder and keep them organized together. It's very much the same principle with a tab. On a window, you can have multiple windows open. You can have 10 or even 20 uh, windows open, but you have them all together in one window and divided up by tabs to keep them organized. Again, we're going to go through some examples of this so you can see how that all works. All right, so now we're going to move on to look at some uh, real life examples of using windows. Um, so the first one we're going to look at is this thing down here, which is called the File Explorer. Uh, and then we're going to look at the Google Chrome uh, browser window as well. And so we'll see some of the similarities and the differences with those windows. So if we move down here over to the bottom, I'm going to open up the File Explorer window. Right, so first thing to say um, that I didn't mention in the first part of the video is if you hold down your left click, so the left side of the mouse, uh, and, and drag on these white parts, of the uh, of the window, you can move your window around from left to right, okay, and up and down, okay. So it's a really helpful thing to be able to do. So if you left click and drag, you can grab it and you can move it where and place it where you want. Um, so now let's see where are those things that we were talking about in the first part of the video. Well, on the right hand side, we've got the minimize. If I hover over here, it should say minimize. We've got maximize and we've got close. So minimize, when you left click on minimize, uh, it will get the window and it will just put it right down to the bottom of the screen where you can't see it. it, just sort of clears it out of the way so you can see the desktop. If I left click on the file explorer, it's going to pop it right back up to where it was. In contrast, the uh, maximize icon is this square and if I left click on that, the window will now take up the whole part of the screen. And this is really useful for other windows like in uh, when you're watching a video because when you do the full screen, it'll take up the full size of the screen and you can see things a bit better. To go back to where you were at the start, just left click over 
on this little two uh, squares here where it says restore, left, restore down. Finally, when you're done with your window and you want to close it and get rid of it, uh, you hover over here where it says the X and it's gone orange, left click and it will close down the window completely. So this will uh, sort of reset uh, to where you were before, before you open the window. And if you want to open a new one, you're going to have to go and double click and open it right from the start. Okay, so that's covered the uh, top right hand corner of the minimize, the maximize and the close. Something else to mention is that if you hover your mouse over at the sides or at the top, you'll see that the mouse changes into these sort of two arrows. And that means you can resize, when you left click and drag, you can resize the window. And this is really handy because you can move things to the sides, you can have two uh, windows open if you like, and you can choose how to position them and how to size them. Now one thing that you can't see on the right hand side that we had in the first part of the video is this scroll bar where you can scroll up and down. So that's not here exactly, but if you actually look in the middle, there is a scroll bar over here. And this is where we can uh, scroll up and down to have a look at the different uh, files and folders in part of our computer. Okay, So just look for a bar, a grey bar, and that will be the scroll bar. If you left click and drag, you can go up and down like that. Okay, so that's pretty much everything for the file explorer in terms of resizing and moving it. I'm just going to show you how it's useful. If you go up here where there's this toolbar that we talked about, toolbar, here it says file. I can actually open a new window here. And if I want to, I can now resize them so I can have them both open at the same time. And I can maybe drag and drop things across. But we'll look at that later when we look at uh, files and folders. Okay, so this is the file explorer. We're going to close that down. I'm going to close that down. And next, we're going to open up the Chrome browser. So now we have the Chrome browser. And you can see there's a lot of similarities over here. Oh, my battery's running low. Um, We've got the minimize sign here with the uh, long uh, line, and we've got the restore down, and we've got the close. So if I restore down, we're going to be here. If I left click, I can move the window about, just like with the File Explorer window. Uh, if I click on the square, it's going to maximize, so we get the full part of our screen taken up. I can resize with the left and the right by dragging like this, and the up and the down like that, so it's exactly the same. And this time you'll notice that there is actually a scroll bar on the right hand side. If I left click and drag, I can scroll up and down. So the frame, the frame which is the middle part, you can control which part you see. Okay, now one thing that you'll notice if I just go and maximize again, um, is that we actually have this little plus sign here. Now these are the tabs. Um, and remember you can have as many tabs as you like within, uh, it's like a folder really. Um, so if I go to over and I just open up a page, I'm going to open up the BBC News page, and I'll have that one here. If I want to make up a new tab, I just can left, left click on this uh, plus sign here, and it, you can see when you hover over it, it says new tab. Now here I could have a different website, let's say Argos, and I'm going to go on that. And then if I want to make another tab, then I go over to the plus sign, and let's have this one as boots. Okay, and now I can show you how you can move between the tabs. So we've got three tabs open. It's one window. If I just pop that out, look, we've got one window. So we've got three different tabs. And if I just left click on the middle part where it says the, where the word is, it will move me across to that tab. So I can have the BBC News page open. I can have the Argos page open. I can have the Boots page open all at the same time. And I can move across them very, very easily. It's very convenient. Now, if you keep pressing this plus sign, we're going to get lots and lots more tabs. You can have as many as you want, okay, but I recommend only having about five or six because these get a bit small and a bit hard to manage. Uh, when you're done with a tab, you can close it by left clicking the X. There you go, the X, it's, you can see these are moving, these are disappearing, okay, and we're now back to our only tab. Now when we're done, we can click at the top right hand corner and close it. So that's pretty much all there is to uh, Windows. Um, now, I, I would recommend you uh, practice, open up a browser, open up some different windows, practice resizing, practice closing them, minimizing them, maximizing them, moving them around the screen, um, and get sort of really comfortable with all that because it will become uh, really helpful later on in the course.